Between now and the end of 2021, I hope to make some progress with my younger horses and have a top three finish on the podium and a five-star Grand Prix, ideally one of the Rolex Grand Slam. 2022 is a lot of opportunity. We have a world championship. I also would really like to be jumping in all of the Rolex Grand Slam Grand Prix. Uh, and I have some nice, young, promising horses that hopefully I can develop. And if 2022 maybe is my year, I could bring home a win uh, in, in one of those big Grand Prix. The proudest moment of my career so far is probably being able to compete in Aachen. Uh, that has been a dream of mine since I was a little girl. I've won and had plenty of fantastic events and even though I didn't have the greatest luck this week to be selected as one of the five that gets to come here, it's my first time but hopefully my first time of many. Throughout my career my parents have inspired me the most, both my mom and my dad. Uh, the two of them have driven me to be the best that I can in whatever my passion led me to and, and that led me to horses and they're definitely the reason that I'm here and they're the reason that I do believe one day I'll make it. I think I was born hungry for success. Uh, everything in my life I've wanted to be the best at. Uh, I was like that in school even, always competitive and definitely with the horses. I want to not only be the best in the ring, I want my horse to have the best care and I want to be the best professional all around. So I think that's something you're born with and once it's in you, you can't get rid of it. <laughs> so for this year, I actually brought five horses to Aachen. Uh, I brought a youngster, a seven-year-old that I only acquired about two weeks ago. Uh, so I don't know her very well, but she went around like a seasoned veteran uh, and I'm very lucky and excited for the future. I was pretty set on bringing a youngster here because hopefully in a few years I can be jumping her in the Rolex Grand Slam Grand Prix. <laughs> That's the idea at least. Uh, so she's a fun, uh, quick star, a lot of attitude, uh, typical mare, a lot of jump. Then I also brought Sky Horse. He's probably my veteran on my string. Uh, he's a horse that's never jumped in Aachen, but he was fantastic all week. And he's really the, the old soldier. He, he keeps going to every show for me, and he definitely has the most experience. I also brought Faster, who's my best horse right now. He's only 11. Uh, and then I brought Agana, which is the one stallion that I have right now. He's 10, and he's just coming up, but maybe in a few years we'll be seeing him in, in a Rolex Grand Prix. Jumping in front of fans is, is the best jumping there is. Uh, when you trot in the ring and you can hear them all cheering and clapping for you in the atmosphere, it's electric. So hopefully this is just the beginning of it, getting back to how it was. The best piece of advice I've ever been given. Uh, this week I actually did not have the greatest luck. Uh, my best horse, he took a funny step and so I'm not able to jump on Sunday. And after that happened, uh, obviously you're feeling pretty down, but I'm lucky because the team spirit from Team USA is phenomenal and between the other riders and the chef to keep, they all came to me and said, this is just the beginning and you have a lot to look forward to, so don't give up and, and don't let it hold you back. I think that the Rolex Grand Slam of jumping is what this sport needed to be brought to the mainstream. It is the pinnacle event. It's what every young rider dreams to jump and to win one day. Uh, it is the highest level of sport and it's really what proves that both the horses and riders are athletes. When you go in the ring and you're jumping a Rolex Grand Prix, there is much more than just luck. It shows the epitome of skill and planning and aiming for that event and that's the day that every one of us wants to peak.